हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर शिवाजी वाके फ्रॉम लास्ट फ्यू सेशन ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजिक बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद बिजनेस इन्वायरमेंट टॉपिक बिजनेस इन्वायरमेंट इज एन सराउंडिंग कंडीशन सरकमटेंस एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स इंटरनल फैक्टर्स विच इन्फ्लूस यूर बिजनेस दिस बिजनेस इन्वायरमेंट डिवाइडेड इन टू टू कैटेगरीज विच आर इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल एक्सटर्नल मीन्स those things who are not in the hands of companies those are out of controllable things okay which give some opportunities and threats for the companies then again this external environment further divided into two categories which are micro and macro micro means those factors or those influencers which affects on your business directly and macro are those whose affect your business indirectly then this internal means what within the organizations okay now we are going to say about what is internal environment or organizational appraisals so let's begin with what is organizational appraisal organizational appraisal is the process of monitoring an organization's internal environment to identify the strength and weaknesses that may influence the firm's ability to achieve the goals it is an one kind of process for monitoring or finding the internal or evaluating the internal environment of organization for the purpose of finding the difference strength and weaknesses company's capacities and company's limitations which may affects on the ability of achieving the organizational objectives and goals so in simply organization appraisal is an process for monitoring organizational internal environments for the purpose of finding the strength and weaknesses okay then it contain organizational resources various kind of resources that can be a tangible or intangibles intangible you can say uh, machines then uh, materials manpower money okay and uh, under uh, intangibles uh, you can say the uh, uh, their leaderships or their uh, quality uh, then their knowledge these are the intangible things then organizational behaviors means how organization is behaving with their employees or how any employees of company is behaving with uh, organizations or behaving with within their groups or within uh, companies okay uh, which, uh, which uh, we can say organization philosophy leadership qualities then uh, organization culture organization politics these things come under, comes under this behaviors then strength and weaknesses these are the capacity of company and these are the weaknesses of companies or limitations of companies then synergic effect okay uh, we have heard already heard about 1 plus 1 when 2 plus point comes together it will make 11s ek aur ek 11 okay when company is good in productions and good in marketing it will create synergistic effect and it 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 gives more profit or more business to the companies okay or 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 when both department are not working properly even productions also and marketing also it it create dissynergistic effect or negative synergistic effect okay then competence means how competitively you are using your resources as compared to your competitors okay then competitors of an organization determine the nature of internal environments this internal environment contain organization resources organization behaviors the strength and weaknesses synergy effect competence of organizations okay then the appraisal of sorry internal environment of firm helps to helps to uh, think of what it might cho- choose to do okay it it uh, it helps to answer the question like what it might to choose to do and while external is an what can do okay and this one is what it might choose to do means here entrepreneur or any person have business man have choice to uh, choose uh, or analyze within the uh, two things okay then this internal environment or organizational is an in internal environment refers to the all factors within an organizations factors related to the organization or, or those factors comes under only inside the organizations which uh, impact on strength and 
weaknesses or strategic natures so company has to take the benefit of strength and overcome on weaknesses for providing the strategic advantages to the companies then strength are inherent capacities which an organization can use to gain strategic advantages and weaknesses are inherent limitations this one are a capacity and this is an limitations okay then this is an dynamic of internal business environment okay very simple every business or every organization content organization resources like man money machines materials then managements and other things okay uh, means uh, resources various tangible or intangible resources or uh, inputs okay then finance this is an also one kind of resources for the company or manpowers this is an also resources and organization behaviors means how organization is behaving with or how any individual employees and working with an this organizations it contain the organization philosophies organization cultures and organization politics okay when this comes together it gives some strength and weaknesses okay some might be a positive point and some might be a negative points strength we can say company have good or knowledgeable uh, uh, man powers or company have uh, proper funding facilities or uh, well finance facilities okay that this can be the uh, strength and weaknesses we can say company have less in advertisement or less in a uh, reach to the uh, final consumers this can be the same weaknesses now this strength and weaknesses gives some synergetic effect when two positive points or two department having great capacity we can, uh, as we said productions and marketing have a, they are working more effectively the time they create 1 plus 1 is equal to 11 means positive synergetic effect okay positive synergetic effect in case of strength okay and when both are department or any one of department within this were not working properly that time it create less than this one this more additions it, it it can say that productions and marketing is not working properly that time it create this synergic effect okay this is an strength and weaknesses gives synergetic effect in positive ways that is in synergetic way and dissynergetic way also okay then this synergetic effects or this plus plus gives competency means how competitively or how uh, well or, or how properly you are using your resources as compared to your competitors okay or how you are distinguishing your company from your competitors means in the way of cost efficiency or in the way of providing the services to the finance consumers okay then this competencies gives some capability of your companies capabilities like financial capabilities capabilities then marketing capabilities then uh, operation capabilities okay uh, then personal information capabilities managerial uh, management capabilities this gives certain capabilities and this uh, within this capabilities or within this the best way of doing your job it gives strategic advantages means those advantages are only refers to the your companies only not to your competitors so so this is about the dynamic of internal environments okay uh, i am explaining again when organization resources either tangible or intangibles and organization behaviors organization culture organization politics or, or organization uh, the environment okay philosophy when comes together it gives some strengths and weaknesses some are the capacities some are the limitations when strength two strength or two strong point come together uh, uh, they work more effective manners or which gives the addition of more greater than that ones that called synergetic positive synergetic effect and weaknesses when both department or any one department on that that work that in, in organization is not working properly that time it create this synergetic effect or negative synergetic effect okay energy we can say in the form of if one person or one department is there we can say energy 
but more than one department or more, more than one person is comes together then we that time you can say synergic okay then at this synergic effect goes competencies means the better work to in your jobs okay as compared to your competitors then these competencies have certain ca capabilities capabilities like final your cap financial capabilities then your mm. marketing capabilities your operation capabilities okay these are the different factors of different aspects of this your cap capability of your organizations and this organizational capabilities gives strategic advantages or best way to do the your companies okay so this is about the dynamic of internal environments then organizational capabilities factors means uh, as we said in a external environment contain suppliers okay mean micro environment suppliers competitors then consumers okay these are the environmental factors which affect on your business now here are the internal capability factor or internal some factors which influence your businesses what are that factors we are going to see here then organization capability is an inherent capacity or potential of an organization to use its strength and overcome its weaknesses it is an capability or capacity of your organization to use your proper strength in a proper way and overcome on weaknesses then organization capability fa factors are the strategic strength and weaknesses existing in different functional areas within an organizational which are crucial important to the strategic formulation and strategic important implementations this strategic capability factors lies in a different functional areas functional areas like marketing hr finance operations okay these are the different functional areas of your companies so this strength and weaknesses lies in in this different areas of it okay then capabilities factors are six functional areas like finance marketing operation personal that is hr information and general management now we'll see one by one this uh, capability factors first one financial capabilities how what are the different sources of your company for the for funding then how you are using your funds in a proper way and how you are managing your funds you know allocating the, the funds to the different departments or generating your income from different department this comes under the financial capabilities means related to the money okay comes under this financial capabilities then again in the next one in marketing capabilities comes like four fees of your companies product price plus and promotions okay related factors comes under this marketing capability means you are good in uh, making uh, or good in uh, maintaining the quality of your products or you are good in uh, maintaining the packaging of your products or you are good in uh, uh, promoting your products that comes under marketing capabilities okay then operation capabilities how you are using your resources materials or how you are using your inputs for for the purpose of converting into outputs means if you are using more effectively your resources from that resources you are getting more number of outputs or more number of products that can be sales also operation capabilities then personal capability uses of human resources and their skills if you have good number of manpowers with an good quality or good skills if you are using the, the, that manpower in a good, good way that can say a personal capabilities or human resource capabilities then information management capability related to design management of flow of informations from outside into within the organizations means how the flow of information is passing from these departments okay like operation department have made 15 products of some uh, some some units okay 15 products of then the, this information supposed to be passed to the marketing departments okay you need to market this 15 products okay likewise so suppose, suppose they want to produce another 15 products or another things they might be said to the finance department we require need to produce 15 products and for that purpose we require this and this much this and this much finance so there should be an easy flow of informations or easy flow of information within the all functional areas or all functional department of any organizations then 
general management capabilities related to the integration coordination and directions on the functional capability to the common areas it says about your general management capabilities or other general behavior of your organizations then this is about the today's session in coming session we will say what are the different methods for apprising organizational environments okay now today we have seen about what is organizational apprisal is an process for monitoring internal environment of organization for the purpose of identifying strength and weaknesses it contains various factors or a various uh, aspects like organization resources organization behavior strength and weaknesses synergic effect then competencies okay it asks the questions or it answers the questions like what might choose to do here is uh, i uh, sorry for this one this is an internal environment okay then <coughs> this uh, dynamics of internal environment organization resources and organization behavior comes together create give some strength and weaknesses within the strength and weaknesses gives synergistic effect either positive or either negative then competencies how properly you are using your resources as compared to your competitors then organizational capabilities like this six functional areas of companies and finally strategic advantages then here are the some capability factors or internal factors which affects on your internal businesses okay in, in that company has to use their strength for 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 the purpose of overcoming on weaknesses okay or they need to use their strength uh, beyond the this uh, weaknesses okay suppose company is an good in the productions or good in the marketing company needs to focus on this that point will be okay then here are the six functional areas of capability factors like finance marketing operation hr information and general management so this is about the today's topic i hope you have understand thank you